how do you, your campaign, Ducks for a Difference, um, you said that you are wanting to create a $12 minimum wage for on-campus jobs. Um, how are you going to go about that? I guess is the first yeah, question. that's a great question. Um, well, how we're going to go about, about um, raising the minimum wage is uh, basically partnering with the administration. Um, I've been in contact with uh, members of the administration that are very interested in, in, uh, in raising the minimum wage here or changing the hours that students are able to work. Uh, it's, it's really important that we address this issue because uh, affordability is, is a large uh, issue here on, on campus. So is there, are we trying to repeal the host or social host ordinance as it stands or just trying to reform it? We're, I mean, trying to do both. Um, I'm, I'm trying to repeal it as of right now because uh, the, the current ordinance is not uh, favorable for students. So as of right now, I'm trying to repeal it, but I also see I also see the value in the, the ordinance and, and the reason behind it, and making sure that um, uh, making sure that students are being respectful uh, to the community members. U of O usually doesn't stack up with students of color and having a diversity set. Um, Absolutely. What is your plan or your slate's plan to kind of recruit and retain students of color and faculty of color um, on this campus? Yeah. Uh, again, I've been talking with uh, the uh, the vice president, the vice president of inclusion and equity, um, and uh, we're both very uh, excited and interested to start working on uh, some some type of diversity plan uh, for for recruitment um, and for recruitment and retention of students of color and faculty of color, um, and and that might mean the way that might mean change the way we recruit. Um, uh, or the the types the types of recruitment. Uh, we want to uh, increase uh, more funding towards anything that's about sexual assault prevention. Um, it's it's a problem on this campus. It's a problem on a lot of campuses. Um, but it's it's a it's a top priority for us uh, mainly because um, mainly because we we have people I have people in my campaign that are really passionate about this issue sexual assault prevention. Um, it's, I think it's all about prioritizing the survivor. We, we really try to reach out to, to each part of campus and to making sure that, um, that everybody's voices are heard. Um, I'm, I'm not so much focused on bipartisan as I am focused about school unity and bringing everyone together to have a voice, especially students that haven't had a voice, uh, in, in the university before or in the ASO before.